when I train chest, I usually 40 minutes max and I'm done. So doing a lot of volume, focusing on every single rep. It's not about the weight. Just keeping the intensity. Doing cables first just allows me to activate the chest muscle a bit more. Four sets, start light with the first one and bring up the weights gradually. Once I've pre-exhausted the chest, a lot of the other workouts I do, it just focuses and just really hits the chest a lot more. I mostly do dumbbells bars with strict movement. I don't necessarily go super heavy, but again, focusing on intensity. It was an incline bench. I usually like to keep my arm at a slight angle, so rather than all the way out, I find that it's less pressure on my delts. Again, going all the way to the top, not necessarily um, locking out the elbows at the top, but just making sure by keeping it at an angle to get that good squeeze. So as you can see, as I do that, you see my chest squeezes. By doing drop sets, supersets, it just keeps that momentum going. And there's a superset with closed grip presses. I like to use dumbbells. Holding dumbbells together, going all the way up and squeezing the dumbbells together all the way throughout the movement. You don't necessarily have to worry about the chest because as you squeeze your arms, the dumbbells together, your chest automatically contracts. And it's really effective on your chest, especially upper chest. So I'm squeezing the dumbbells as hard as I can and that automatically contracts your chest muscle. I mostly focus on the incline presses, just to bring up the upper chest. With the wide dips, I always watch my tempo. So it's usually about two down, two, one or two up. Wide dips, never narrow. Just focusing on every single rep. So, controlling the movement down, up, always making sure to focus on your chest. And then we superset that with flat bench, almost like a chest press with dumbbells, but squeezing at the top of the movement. I always find that squeezing at the top and squeezing the dumbbells together again allows you to really contract the chest muscles even more. So when you come in up, squeeze, touch dumbbells together and if you look at my chest you can see the contraction twisting your pinkies together to touch so both ends touch together and you squeeze making sure again you're focusing on the chest and you're contracting that chest every single rep it's not about I can't repeat this enough about the weight it's about the actual muscle you're working When you have a t-shirt on, it looks good. That's why a lot of people want to have a big chest. It's just like everything else. If you put a lot of effort into it, you should be able to achieve it. The finisher is press-ups. I aim 30. The aim is to try and do 30. You might start, stop, that's fine. Keep going till you do the full 30. It's about making sure that the muscles work, even if you're fatigued, that you're still working that muscle. It's a challenge, but I like to push myself that little bit more. I like having a big chest, but then I want big shoulders and having a big chest shrinks my shoulders. And I'm not complaining. I love having a big chest. So all in all, yeah, pretty happy. Hope you enjoyed the chest workout, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.